All right, I want to make a quick video about the differences between target and current target when we're talking about events. So I have some very basic HTML and JavaScript here. I have a main element with some text, and then inside of that there's a div with other text, and the text just says which element it's inside of. In the browser, this is what it looks like. So here's my div, here's my main, and I've got click listeners added to both these. Main has a click listener, div has a click listener. If we look in the script, sure enough, query selector main, query selector div, add event listener, click, calling the same function. Now, because of the default bubbling behavior of events, it means when I click on div, my click is going to fire here, and then it's going to move up, and it's going to fire on the main element. So one click can fire both listeners. The div one fires first, and then the main one fires. If I click on the main element, only this one's going to fire. It's not going to go through the div. So if I click on main, this function gets called once. If I click on the div, this function gets called twice. Inside here, I'm writing out a message to the console. That's all I'm doing. I'm using ev.target for the first parameter and ev.currentTarget for the second one. Now the difference between the two of them is that target will always point to the thing that comes in front of add event listener. So if this is the add event listener that's firing, ev.target will be the div. If this is the one that's firing, then main will be target. So it's always the thing that comes in front of add event listener. That's what target is. Current target tells you if this is an event that is bubbling, where is it at? So remember, if I click on the div, I get two listeners firing, this one and then this one. So the first one is going to say target is the div, current target is the div. The second time it fires will be because it bubbled up to the main and it's firing this one. When it's firing this one, the div was the target. This is what's causing this thing to go. This is what the person clicked on, target. That's where they clicked originally. But the click event has bubbled up to the main, therefore the current target is main. So we run this. If I click on main, I just get the one click event firing. Target was main, current target was main. After that it bubbles up to the body and so on. If I click on the div, I get two. The first time, target is div, and current target is div. I clicked here. I'm firing the div listener, the click listener for the div, and that's where the click is right now. And then that one click also triggered the main event listener. But while main is the current target, that's where the event has bubbled to, the thing that started the whole process was div. It was the listener on div. So every time I click on the div, I get two things written out. Once where the current target is div, and once where it's main. But in both instances, target, the thing that originally launched it, was div. And that's target versus current target. Have any questions? Please leave them in the comments. As always, thanks for watching.